Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Cubase Elements 10. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about how to punch in and punch out because this feature works a little bit different in Cubase. So I have a track here and I'm just going to record some vocals over here just to meet speaking. And um, let's say that there is a mistake in here. So you have this region. Just move this over. You can either draw a region where you want to punch in and punch out or you can press the control key and click and hold down the alt key and click. Now that that's defined what we need to do is come down to this section here and click the punch in and punch out. Now these are also corresponding uh, to the keys on your keyboard I for in and O for out and if you tap both of those at the same time it's going to enable those. Now if you have just the I, the N, uh, activated what's going to happen is when you record when it gets to this point here uh, the playhead when it hits this point it's going to start recording and it's going to end when you decide for it to end. You can go all the way to the end of the song. That's helpful if you're putting in a lead or something that you're not exactly sure how long that is going to be. So I'll just enable both of these. Now where it works a little bit different is now that that's enabled we're recording so I'm going to click the record button and what happens is when you do that it starts recording over the whole track again. So in Cubase what this uh, how this feature is a little bit different you press the space bar and when the playhead goes over this section then it's going to record and when it gets to the end it's going to stop. So this is a layer that's on top of the previous clip and um, you can delete this it's not destroying the clip underneath. So I'm just going to get rid of this track here and show you something else about this. If you were to loop this feature you could record multiple takes over here and it will keep track of the takes and number them. There's take three. Just put another one on there. So after that's done uh, you have all these takes on here and you can either drag these down and make other tracks and then cut this one eventually it's going to be replaced. Let me just go back to the cut tool and then mute this one and then you can go in here and mute the other tracks as well so you can only hear one at a time and play that section but first you have to take off the punch in and punch out so don't forget to tap the I and the O key turn that off and then you can go ahead and listen to these sections I'm muting them and see what that's about and then once you have the correct one if you want to keep things clean just delete this part and put this one up here and then select all these and you can make this one region again if you want to by shift clicking each item and going to audio and you want to go to uh, events to part and then that's going to make that all one one clip again and then just delete these so that concludes this tutorial on how to punch in and punch out and how the, it differs a little bit from other DAWs so I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one have a great day bye bye